Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Ever Crisis. We'll be talking about everything that's being updated right now for the anniversary. It's in two days, Friday, 1 p.m. I believe maintenance is happening, so make sure you guys get your stuff done if it's going to cause you issues for your dailies. And maybe save your premium quests just in case they add something to them or increase the drop rates. So that way you guys have those bonuses. But we're going to go in, talk about trailers, news, everything that's going on in Ever Crisis for the one year anniversary. It's not much but it's enough to keep us awake and, uh, and uh, intrigued. So, uh, first thing I do is for everyone, don't forget to do free draw. There's free stuff going on right now. Free draw every day before the reset, make it happen. They are three new notices. We're gonna go through each one. Other things came out like the new Crisis Dungeon we beat today on stream. I did everything, ended up getting like 4,400 blue crystals today just because of that. Plus uh, the story quest of Zack I didn't do yet. So that got me back up to 42,000. Very happy about that. So. Notice number one, the Cetra story, Birth of the Destroyer. This is going to be happening on September 6th, 7 p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. PDT. <laughs> I think that's my time. 10 o'clock is my time. Uh, you got these two exchange items for Bahamut. That's going to be the boss. He looks so freaking good. I'm going to show you a video. But you get the two items. You get exchange shop. There's a free weapon. Just like Final Fantasy IX right now, you're doing the exact same thing over and over for this specific fight. This is uh, the Alba Horn and Alba's Claws, and the weapon for Zack is called the Alba Blade. Alba just seems like a weird word, but yeah, there's that. Zack's exclusive weapon, Alba 4-star plus weapon, guaranteed draw ticket, and a character-specific weapon part and memories at the exchange is going to be there. So, weapon parts, if you guys need Zack weapon parts, you're most likely going to get 100 off of this. Really nice to see, but that's pretty much it. It's a Cetra story, really cool white Bahamut, and this is the trailer that they released on Twitter tonight that you guys can watch with me. I already saw this, but it's so good. Things are about to get worse. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. We're talking about how this gives us the Avon Children vibes of a Bahamut. Other Bahamuts on the floor here. Oh, sorry, Death Counter. I just finished a DLC for uh, Elden Ring. We beat uh, the final boss and everything actually very easily. I was very happy with my progress, but uh, sorry about that. This looks so cool. There he is. Look at this. And this is the attack. I guess his Mega Flare, right? Probably a different name for it. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's what we'll be facing, trying to farm him the entire time, see how that goes. That's going to be, honestly, I hope a really cool boss fight and not an annoy annoying one. Next up, we've got the tower. Battle Tower, Singularity, the Maelstrom Tower, Chaos of the Corrupted, Birth by Sleep 2.3. <sighs> what does it mean? Why is there so many words? <laughs> New tower, the M tower. That's what I'm going to call it, the M tower. September 6th, 7 p.m. Again, 10 p.m. Eastern for me. Clear all 100 floors, and you guys are going to get tickets, vouchers, an emblem, and one major thing to really take from this. Starting at battle, uh, the floor 51, event quests will be released every day. If you don't want to miss an event quest, I don't know if it's going to be slow road or just event quest start, and then so it's like your dailies. Get to floor 51 as soon as possible, just in case. That way you're ready for the reset. It's 4 p.m. Eastern, my time for reset. So on the day of release of this, which is the anniversary day, get to 51. Rush it, because you might miss that first day of a daily. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But if you beat all 100 floors, you get this really cool looking emblem. There's gotcha tickets here. Uh, and there's these vouchers that look like there's healing, fire, ice, and probably all the other, other elements as well. You can see that you can get exchangeable items, chaos the corrupted weapon voucher that can be exchanged for luxurious items. At the exchange shop, first clear reward in the event quest. There's also going to be a five-star guaranteed weapon exchange. First clear rewards in the event quest can be exchanged for various five-star weapons. And they show it here. So if you get this healing voucher, you get to pick a healing weapon. If you get this fire voucher, you get to pick a fire weapon. So that's going to be really awesome. Picking weapons that we don't own or we're ob 6 or ob 10 soon. This allows us to get those OB-10s and OB-6s very quickly. Now, when it comes to the ultimate weapons, they're going to be using the skins of the ultimate weapons of weapons we already have. You can see old weapons here, the Buster Sword off of Cloud, Sephiroth's Blade, right? Uh, Glenn's Weapon. So you're going to be exchanging medals. And uh, again, first clear rewards, ultimate weapons at the exchange. It's all going to be straightforward. As long as you're clearing the quest, you're going to get items to exchange for these weapons once they're released. And if they make us like choose which one, I'll go over which weapon's the best one to go for. Ultimately, when it comes down to this, go for the character that you play. Not for the one that people say it's meta, 
because then you're forced to build a new character, pull for them, ob sex their weapons, get their costumes. If you already have a character fully built and this benefits them, then go for the character that you're using. So this is uh, going to be the new ultimate weapons. It doesn't look like they're going to be using new skins. Maybe in the future, there's going to be a new version where it's only this ultimate weapon has this look and no other weapon looks like it. But for now, it looks like they're reskinning with the life stream uh, poisonous stuff going on. One, two, three, four, five, six star ultimate weapon. Yep. Uh, there's a limited number ultimate medals that can be obtained. So that's what I'm saying. If you have to pick and choose, we'll go through that. And they cannot be exchanged for ultimate weapons that are obtained in the draws. So you can't just go, oh, there's a new draw. Let me save these and use it. No, it's only for those specific exchange ones. Actually, another important thing to point out here is that it does say ultimate medals can also be obtained in other events. So not only this event, other events will be releasing them. Um, when it comes to these vouchers over here for the weapons, I might make a whole new video on what is the best healing, fire, ice, but same rule with everything else. Go for the characters you're using. If you do use a character you're not using and you want to use them, you're just missing things. It's a good way to start off, but it's always better to max out characters that you already own and get through there. Make those R abilities and the back weapons better, right? Like if you needed more fire weapons, so your fire character did more and you were missing it, go for that. Complete sets. Or you can make a brand new character. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. I'm looking forward to this. I will be releasing an entire video on the battle floor to 51. That way we can get our dailies activated and ready to go. It might be one of those things where it's just going to carry over and you don't have to rush it. But I would say let's rush it together. I'll be live on twitch.tv slash Octopus. If you guys want to be there live during anniversary, I'll be there talking about strategies, everything that's good. I'll do my poor skip videos during those streams like I always do. So if you guys want heads up of what's happening, you can ask me or the community that shows up for those streams. And there's lots of people that show up. So... All of that is happening. First year anniversary is around the corner. I'm really hoping that they're taking feedback and they're gonna start adding more things besides these exchange shops because this does look like the things we're currently doing right now. Final Fantasy Nine, uh, Final Fantasy Nine events almost over. Don't forget to finish that off. A lot of gill and grindstones to be collected there. But yeah, it does seem a little bit of a rinse and repeat again. Here's a boss. Farm the items, exchange at the shop. I do hope they mix up that formula somewhere in the one year anniversary. We just gotta wait and see. After that one year anniversary is done, I will be releasing a video talking about my day one account, the one you see all the time in these videos of how I went through a free to play journey, where I am, all my weapons, all the things that are hard, not hard, and talk about my entire account. Basically an account review. I will be doing that after the anniversary is done. So look forward to that. Besides that, poor skip videos are coming up, weapon vouchers, costume vouchers. I know there's a voucher coming out for costumes on a certain day. You get to pick any one you want. I'll have a tier list for that tomorrow uh, now that the girls are back in school. So looking forward to making all these videos. Besides all that, let me know what you're excited for in the comment section. I'm really, really intrigued to see what you guys care about the most and what kind of weapons and what kind of armor you guys are also choosing. Are you working on a new character or are you working on an old character? Besides that, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.